This one is for transporting yeah. it to the other that you're going to use yeah. properly. If there's a way of bringing ferry, it look a, bit, a little bit uh, uh, safer than using this uh, local boat. I'm on my way to Gulu. I'm a student there. And the closure of the dam has actually cut off the north away from these other parts. We are challenged. This is a very rare kind of transport for some of us. The alternative routes are very far via Masindi Port, all via the park, which has its own challenges. So we really call upon the concerned people to really make this process a quick one. And back in the day, you can leave uh, Boyare town or Chiriandongo for about an hour and a half in Gulu. But now you have to travel from there, come through here to the lake, then proceed to Gulu and all these other areas. You're meeting different costs of transport. And the other funny thing is that um, the boats don't even have the life jackets. But what to do? Is before the closure of Karuma, if you're traveling from Chiriandongo to Gulu, we're spending 15,000. Now, after the closure, you spend 30,000 to 35. No, I'm not comfortable. Hmm. If possible, maybe government can provide us with a speed board like a ferry so that it is our movement. But the challenge is water hygiene. The water level, we know it will go slowly, but the challenge there in the middle, when we travel, you get when the water hygiene comes from the other side, Lake Yoga, it blocks.